Hi, I'm David Hale. I'm the project manager for Pillbox at the National Library of Medicine at the National Institutes of Health. Pillbox is a cooperative project between the National Library of Medicine and the Food and Drug Administration, and I'd like to give you a tour of our website today. So we're looking at the Pillbox homepage. There's essentially two ways that you can identify an unknown medication. So the first here um, is this uh, Adobe Flash application. And we can identify medications based on their physical characteristics. So that's the imprint, what's written on the pill, the shape, the color of the pill, the size of the pill, or the lines that are written on a pill. So we'll just start doing a search for, uh, let's say, blue pills. And as we make this selection, we'll begin to see images of blue pills. This doesn't get us very far, but let's say we know the text that's written on a pill. Maybe in the unfortunate situation that someone has uh, regurgitated a pill, it's partially digested, maybe the only letters we can make off that pill are OFT, but by knowing that it's a blue pill and it has OFT, we can now identify uh, that medication as Zoloft. Once we've identified this medication, we're able to either go to the FDA approved drug label for that medication or go to a drug information search tool at the NIH that will search all of the drug information resources at the National Library of Medicine, the FDA, and other government sites as well. But let's go back over to the home page and take a look at an HTML, just regular old web-based version of Pillbox. What's unique about this version is that it's Section 508 compliant for accessibility, so this can be used by screen reading software. We've got a disclaimer up right now. Uh, this is the same functionality, but in a very traditional format. So this uh, can be viewed on a smartphone or even on a screen reader. We could still search by imprint and the color of the pill, but here we've added additional functionality. We can start to search by the drug name. So if you're looking for acetaminophen, and um, it can be pretty difficult to spell, we do a couple tricks here so we can do predictive uh, text entry for that so you don't have to spell the entire drug name. But what's interesting is we've added features such as inactive ingredient searching. So if you're a person with an allergy to a particular component um, that's used as an as inactive ingredient within a medication, you can search for it. So I'm going to search for benzoate. Um, and the reason I'm choosing benzoate is because there's evidence that persons with asthma um, may have their symptoms aggravated by this. So if you're a person with asthma, you would want to make sure that, well, you and your physician, that your medication doesn't contain benzoate. So here we start to see a list of medications that contain benzoate. Or additionally, um, I think something that's much more uh, common for individuals to have an allergy to is lactose. So if you're lactose intolerant, now you can begin to search for medications uh, that contain lactose as well. Um, we have other search capabilities. You can search by the drug label author, um, even the DEA drug schedule. This is important for law enforcement. But mostly what we're trying to do here is make drug information that's already open and available actually accessible and meaningful at a point of care, whether it's being used by a patient, a physician, a caregiver, or um, someone at a poison control center. And that's really the focus of what Pillbox is, is taking information that's already available and putting it into a form that's usable and helps improve outcomes. Thank you for that tour. Thank you.